Today marks the 23rd anniversary of the 9-11 attacks on the United States. In order to commemorate this day, we interviewed our CHS teachers about their experiences on this day. So on September the 11th, 2001, I was actually here working as a library aide. Uh, I was out of college for a couple years and my room was actually in Mr. Miller's current room, 102. At that time, social studies teachers had TVs in their rooms. Um, we actually had cable, and so it was not unusual for uh, history teachers to have the news on throughout the day, keeping up with what was going on. Uh, it was first period, and the teacher across the hall ran over into my room and said, oh my gosh, a plane hit the World Trade Center. And we both thought it was an accident. So I got up and I ran into her room and we were watching it on TV. She had uh, ABC on, I'll never forget. And while we were standing there, we saw the second plane hit the, um, the second tower. And um, I knew, we knew that this was not an accident. And um, I just remember, like it's like the floor came out from under me and um, it just, I, I, I can't, words really can't explain it. Uh, the rest of the day is kind of a blur. I just remember students being very upset, teachers being very upset. Um, you couldn't get on the internet because it just crashed because so many people were trying to get information and it was a day I certainly will, will never forget. Well, I was actually teaching in this very classroom when the 9-11 attack took place and the first way I found out about it was Kathy Barant, one of the other business teachers, came to my door. I was teaching a keyboarding classroom with keyboarding students and Kathy Brandt came to the door and, and you know, waved me over to the door and I came to the door and she goes, we're under attack. And I didn't know what she meant. I said, what do you mean? She goes, well, our nation is under attack that an airplane just crashed into the World Trade Center. And that's all she said. There was no instructions to say anything to the students or anything like that. It was just kind of left at that. And at that point, my first reaction was sort of unbelief. Like, I thought maybe there must be some kind of explanation. Like maybe there was some kind of mechanical failure on the aircraft, or maybe pilot had a heart attack or something like that. You know, I didn't think that it was an actual attack taking place at that time. But I do remember looking up, um, trying to get on CNN.com on my computer, and it was too busy. Like you could not get through the traffic um, of the internet at the time because everybody was trying to do the same thing. So at that point, all I had was her word of information that a plane had crashed into the World Trade Center. During my lunchtime, I was able to get online and connect and find out other news. And I saw where the second plane had hit the World Trade Center and another plane had hit the Pentagon. At that point, I realized that yes, this was a terrorist attack on our nation. Um, it was, it was a, a strange moment. Um, I remember being calm because we weren't given any instructions to say anything to our students and there were no announcements over the loudspeaker. As far as how the students reacted, you know, as parents started to get the news, a lot of parents came to check their students out of school. So by the end of the school day, probably 25 to 30 percent of our students had been checked out by their parents that day. Um, but there was no official announcement made over the intercom about the terror attacks that were taking place. Um, the next day when we came to school, um, there was in the morning announcement time, there was an announcement from the principal, Mr. Bryan, um, talking about the attacks from the previous day and there was an extended moment of silence you know for everybody to keep the entire nation in our thoughts and prayers but uh, you know I can remember it pretty clearly it was you know one of those vivid memories that I'll never forget. Hi my name is Miss Wiley and I am a teacher here at Rockbridge County High School. On September 11th 2001 I lost my dad in the World Trade Center attacks. He was in the first tower um, on that day, my mom called us and told us all to come home from work. I met my sister and my brother there, um, and we waited, and we waited, and we watched the news, um, but we never got a call from him, and he never came home. So that was my experience. It was the worst day of my life. It was probably the worst thing I've ever experienced, both as a young adult and as an older adult. Um, but that's my, that was my connection to 9-11. So my dad was a really just good person. He was a good guy. He was one of those people that made everyone feel good when they talked to him. Somebody that when you walked away from them, you felt like they made your day better. So that's the person I try to be. And um, yeah.
This has been Bella Fitch. And this has been Brody Kirkpatrick. With The Prowler.